guys, thanks for watching this episode of Go. I'm Savannah King, and if you're like a lot of people, especially this time of year, you're probably thinking about ways you can fit in some extra exercise into your daily schedule. Well, great news for those of us here in Hall County and Gainesville. There are a ton of local parks that let you do just that by taking a short walk on your lunch break. So in this episode of Go, I will tell you about three of those places, starting with Rock Creek Greenway. It's where I am now, and it's a paved path through the heart of Gainesville. It's about two miles from downtown Gainesville to the lake. The Greenway takes you through several parks, and it's just a beautiful wooded path along the way. You're still in Gainesville, but it feels like you're out in the woods. Number two, Linwood Nature Preserve. This is a real hidden gem in Gainesville. The Linwood Nature Preserve opened just a short time ago, but it has over two miles of trails through the forest. The trail isn't paved, but it's an easy path, and the preserve is located on Linwood Drive in Gainesville. The Bernal Mile is a popular spot for lunchtime walkers and joggers, and the sidewalks are clearly marked and let you know how far you've walked. The mile takes you along Washington, Pryor, Candler, and Boulevard streets. So if you have a great strategy to fit in some extra fitness during your day, or know of another great place to walk, please tell us in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please like, follow, or subscribe to our page, and every week we'll bring you a new video letting you know about fun things to do in the Northeast Georgia area. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Go. I'm Savannah King. I have a very special friend with me today. This is Archie, and he's one of the adoptable animals at the Hall County Animal Shelter. But before I tell you more about him, have you made any New Year's resolutions? How about for yourself and for your animals? If not, I've got some great ideas for you. First of all, spay and neuter your animals. It's healthy for them, and it also helps us control homeless and stray population. Secondly, how about identification? We do microchipping for cats and dogs at the shelter for just $25. Now the next one is very important. Make sure that your animals get plenty of exercise and dogs love to go on long walks and you might benefit from that as well. And the last thing to consider is obedience training. If you feel overwhelmed and you can't handle it, then I would suggest seeking help from a professional. Now back to my friend Archie. As I mentioned, he's just one of the animals available for adoption at the Hall County Animal Shelter. If you're interested in, in seeing him in person, uh, you can come down to the shelter or give us a call. He's very friendly, very loving. He'd be perfect for a family, or he would be perfect for someone who loves the outdoors, loves to take hikes. So think about those New Year's resolutions. Call us with any questions. Best wishes for a wonderful 2016 and Happy New Year.